Hello Aquarius, this is your November 2018 reading. It will not resonate with all Aquarius individuals, so keep that in mind. I may pick up the energy from the last reading and continue with the story, or I may pick up a totally different energy. We shall see. But this is for Aquarius, starting November 2018 Aquarius. Aquarius, starting November 2018, full Celtic cross. I do shuffle these prior and concentrate on each and every sign because I like to shuffle a while. But we're going to see what the beginning energies are. Hopefully they're positive. If they're not, we'll work it out. Sun card, happiness, sunshine, bringing in good things. This is the beginning energy. It's a positive card and a lovely one at that. Strength, regaining strength, regaining positivity, regaining courage. It's crossing it, the princess of disc. Seeing her a lot, or him, but princess of disc is crossing your strength. You may this person may be taxing your strength, or they may be needing strength themselves, and you may be helping them with that. There is happiness, like I said, coming in. But for some reason this is crossing strength. And the princess of this can be an earth element or someone taking on that energy. It could be uh, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Your goal, probably to turn yourself around, make yourself more straight in life and keep things going the way you want to. Straighten out your life, straighten out your emotions. Could be anything or it could be somebody else. This is the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords can be an air energy like yourself. Or someone taking on an energy. As you know, it could be another Aquarius. It could be a Gemini or Libra. Foundation, the Queen of Cups in reverse. You're dealing with the Queen of Cups, someone possibly over-emotional. Or just feeling really despondent or heartbroken for some reason. Queen of Cups in reverse. To get her there, it has someone had to really break her and make her feel despondent. But she is in reverse. It could be someone taking on a water energy. Or it could be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. In the past, you had some success, you had things you want, things worked out the way you want it to in certain things in your area. It could have something to do with finances or just success in a certain part of your life. And it'll be different for everyone because we're dealing with a lot of Aquarius individuals, but success was there with the Six of Pentacles. In the near future, you're going to be ending something. You're going to be putting something behind you that no longer serves you. I will clarify these cards. This is the near future and the current environment and this is going to be what is coming towards you and the distant more distant future i want to clarify these first for aquarius and i do like i say shuffle these prior now you got the strength card is in the upright and what is crossing it like i said is the princess of disc why are you crossing that for aquarius strength card with the princess of disc why are you there for aquarius november 2018. Someone was a little manipulative and someone's trying to regain their strength of a manipulative situation with the magician in reverse and you had a tower moment where something shocked you, surprised you. Things came crumbling down. I do see that you had happiness and success, but something came in and someone tried to manipulate whether you did it or somebody else around you did this. But you did have a tower moment. And you possibly are going to regain, regain your strength. You are having, you do, you are strong, Aquarius. Now, the goal, you got the Knight of Swords in reverse as the goal. You may be trying to turn your situation around. I feel that for some of you. Knight of Swords in reverse. Why you have the goal for Aquarius? You may be feeling turned around. The Hermit, come out of being, uh, not thinking. Come out of feeling stuck. You're feeling stuck. You're feeling... Like you need to be by yourself, but you may be trying to reverse that situation. Can I get another card for the Hermit card and the Knight of Swords? You're wishing on something else, hoping on better things. You may come out of Hermit mode. I th still feel like some of you will feel turned around during this process. It could be that some of you, like I said, are trying to turn around or that you're angry enough that you're not putting up with something and someone may feel that you're a little harsh. You are going to come out of and have your say, possibly, because we have 
what you're hoping for right next to it in the upright. Now with the Queen of Cups as the foundation, she is in reverse. This could be, like I said, someone taking on an energy, someone's despondent, they're crying, they're upset. Queen of Cups in reverse, why are you there? You may have more than one person in your life also. Someone is really feeling out of balance with the art card in reverse. Is someone not feeling like everything is together. we got two reversals here. So this is an imbalance. Someone not feeling like they got everything together right now. Queen of Cups with the art card in reverse. Why are you there? For Aquarius. Because they feel betrayed and backstabbed. Whether, whether you did it to them or they did it to you. Someone was betrayed. Now, in the past, you had success. You had what you wanted. You got some things you wanted. You may not realize it, but you did have some success with the Six of Pentacles. It's in the upright. Why are you there? You got the Four of Cups. You didn't... Four of Cups is about missed opportunities. The why is you had success because you didn't miss an opportunity. You refused to miss an opportunity. You took on something and you grabbed it. Okay, the Six of Pentacles with the Four of Cups in reverse. Why are you there for Aquarius? You uncovered something. You saw things for what they are. You almost missed something, but you grabbed it. I do not know what it is. You can put it in the comments. You had success in something because you saw that you could have miss, missed out on something. I do not know what it is. I just know you saw things clearly, finally. You know, in the near future, you're going to end something. It's the death card. It's not a terrible, terrible card. It's like putting things away from you that no longer serve you. Well, i got to find out more in just a minute. The death card, why are you there? Because you want a passionate new beginning. You may put negative things behind you. You may put a certain situation behind you and cut things out that aren't working for you. And want a passionate new beginning. Can I get another card for the Death card and the Ace of Wands? With the Knight of Wands. Yeah, you want a passionate new beginning. You're going to cut out the negativity, whatever, or something that didn't serve you. It'll be different for everybody, but you're cutting something out because you want passionate new beginnings, and you want to get your, your enthusiasm back, your, your, your strive, you know, your, your mojo. Now, I'm going to go back over to here. This is a possible future outcome for some of you. Sometimes it is, or it's the advice card. It's incompletion. Four of Wands. It could be the outcome. Or, like I said, it could be uh, the universe telling you that something is not completed yet and that you may want to keep that in mind. Even though you are going to cut something out, the universe may tell you you may want to think on it somewhat, because things won't be totally cut out. The person may not want to cut something out with you, I should say. But I need another card for sure. But the completion is in reverse. It could be that something doesn't come to full circle also with this completion is happy home. Can I get another card? Because we still got to do the final, final outcome. Four of Wands. Why are you there? In reverse for Aquarius. You are cutting something out love situation someone may not be done with you someone may not be done with you i get another card for the completion card and the two of cups in the upright for aquarius i'm feeling like there's more than one person possibly situation Someone's not done yet. You're, you're going to cut something out. I don't know if it's the person or you're going to cut out a certain situation that was negative in your life because the completion isn't, a, isn't totally completed with a love situation that was almost leaving someone very depressed. So the advice could be that someone is still in the balance. Even though you're cutting things out, I don't know if you're cutting out a person or just negativity. Okay? That could be it too because you're going... For a passionate new beginning. And you got the Knight of Wands also clarifying that. You're definitely going for it. Whatever you're going for, you're doing it. What is coming towards you? The Hermit in Reverse. Someone is no longer holding back possibly. Or maybe they're stuck. We'll find out. The Hermit card. Why are you there? For Aquarius, why are you coming towards them? 
Oops. Completion card. Again. Four, four of Wands. This is like the happy family. Someone no longer wants to be stuck. They don't want to be contemplating anymore. Someone, like I said, someone wants a completion, a happiness with you. Or you're wanting this, but I'm saying it's coming towards you. So i got to say it's for you. Someone's coming towards you wanting this. I felt that it was somebody else wanting to let you know they want to come out of hardship with you, possibly. Can I get another card for the Hermit in Reverse and the Completion card coming towards Aquarius? Prince of Cups. Could be a water sign. Someone taking my energy. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They are coming towards you. They're wanting to come out of being stuck and, and thinking too much. Maybe they were overthinking or they're just tired of being alone. And they're wanting a completion. They're wanting a, happiness, a happy situation with you. Now, I'm not saying this person wants to come back and be in a relationship, but they definitely want to take the anger off the plate of what has come between you all. And, like, and that could be also the death card putting something to rest finally. Now, your hopes and fears, a new beginning. You may be fearing you won't get a new beginning and hoping for a new beginning. The Fool card, in the upright. Why are you there for Aquarius? It's a good card. It's always good for wanting to start new beginnings. It's movement. The Fool card, why are you there for Aquarius? You want a new beginning because things didn't work out in the past with the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Can I get another card? Oops, let me come out. The Queen of Swords. Maybe you are wanting to take on your power. The Queen of Swords and the Upright. This is someone who is well respected. They know what they're doing. I call them the badass, you know, in a good way. In a good way because they're in the Upright. They're also very wise. They're, they're very intelligent people. And it could be that you're hoping to gain this, you know, knowledge and keep this up and do that new beginning because things didn't work out in the past and you're willing to take that energy where you can, can accomplish th something and get something done. Now the final final outcome, adjustment in reverse, possibly you're an injustice. Maybe you, you will be doing this or someone will be doing this to you, but it could be a judgment held against you. If some of you are going to court, Either it'll go against you or the person you're going against. It could be for a few of you. Or that you're refusing to make a final decision on a certain situation in your life that has to do with contracts, uh, signing papers, or anything. It's like you may be putting it on hold. And it could be because some people are wanting to come out of a hardship with you, possibly. Can I get another card for the adjustment in reverse? So I do see a lot of you Aquarius having to clear up something with somebody. You did have that tower moment. There was a manipulation, certain situation. I see happiness coming in the beginning. That's what you're wanting. You want to turn a certain situation around, but you got people around you that are really, really put out. You're trying to regain that power and that energy and putting things behind you. But for some reason... You got a decision that is not fully made, that is still riding in November, that is still going. You may feel like someone did you an injustice also. The Empress, you feel like things aren't moving along and growing the way you want them to. And I say by the middle of November, so that's what we're going for. At least that's what I'm aiming for. <clears throat> but this could be ongoing with Pentacles. Uh, and I will give another reading. But this is for some of you that something really disrupted your life, a manipulative situation. You feel like an injustice was done as the outcome. There was a betrayal. There was someone feeling a little despondent and emotional around you. Probably thinking more than one person. It doesn't have to be because we do have some uh, earth energy. We got cups energy, you know, water energy. We got air, which is probably you, like I said. One more card, the adjustment, feeling justice, wanting growth. Could also have to do with children in your life for some of you. Can I get another card for Aquarius? Seeing things for how they are. 
You have the two of swords in reverse. That's like putting your swords down and, and taking the blinders off and seeing that maybe an injustice was done and the growth did not occur. Could be that you felt, like I said, betrayed or someone feels betrayed by you and things haven't changed too much. But something is getting cut out. Something is ending. So you're putting something behind you because you wouldn't have passion in your beginning, like I said. Now, if you don't want this, if you're not liking this, if you know what it is, change it. Don't give in to betrayals. Don't give in to sneaky behavior, that manipulating magician that's in reverse. Don't give in to that. You know, put things behind you that no longer serve you and go for a passion new beginning because that's in the very near future. And you're going to do it because the death card is a major arcana. You're going to put something behind you. But in the end, still, you're going to feel like you uh, were given an injustice by somebody. You feel like someone messed you over. And you feel like the situation hasn't changed. Like I said, it could be like with a friendship, a love, family, finances, job. It could be any of it. It will be different for everybody. And that is your reading. And I will be back probably before... Uh, Probably in a couple weeks, because we're going to give another reading for November. This is the beginning of November, beginning energies for November. And I will be back. Talk to you later, Aquarius. See you later. Bye.